All right, here we are ready to launch the actual assault on Ariminium. Uh, we spent the last episode just kind of getting the troops ready because this is going to be such a different battle. This is the Roman Empire's first major battle where we don't necessarily have a guaranteed chance of winning. The odds were so in our favor the first time. Now they're definitely not. We have our troops lined up. We've got some spearmen in front in case the cavalry charge, swordsmen in the back, skirmishers ready to move forward and cause some, some uh, frustration. Our general is hiding back in the trees for the opportune moment to strike. I'm actually going to go ahead and mark him with his own number so that I can get to him easily if I need him. Now, let's see. And for the enemy, for those of you who might not have seen the previous one, their main, most powerful units are all chilling here. So what I'm going to try and do is tick off this little contingent here and see if I can wipe out these cavalry with my spearmen and see if I can take care of some of these guys. If I can do that, if I can manage that, then I will be in good shape. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see, we have some heavy spearmen up front. Let's see. And some heavy spearmen there too. We're going to go for the heavy spearmen. I'm going to pause the game briefly and issue these orders so that all of my men travel together here. And these mob I'm not worried about. And then I'm going to concentrate fire from all three of these light skirmishers. So I've just given orders to all the, to this entire front line. Now we'll get to see this play out. They're also set to skirmish, which means if enemies get too close to them, they will back off. And then what will happen is, hopefully, they will draw this force right into this waiting flank. So let's see if we can do anything to get these guys ready. We can order these Hastaki into a Testudo formation, and you'll see that happen right now. All right. Yeah, the Hastati are getting ready. And the first shots have been fired. Those Italian spearmen are not taking any casualties. But that could be about to change. Yeah, those their spears are blocking every last one of my javelins. You can see, you can see all the javelins taking up. Oh, now they're taking hits. Now they're taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that was a bad move. All right, so this is a successful opening skirmish so far because they're taking damage. These guys are actually losing morale because they've lost so many men. That's a good start. These guys aren't happy. They're dying. Yeah, these guys are running. All right. Now, you guys are not attacking who I told you to. You need to attack that cavalry. I guess they're not willing to get any closer because they're set to skirmish. And that's fine. We want to wear down these and the troops. Yep. Okay, well, that did not go as planned. The spearmen are now mustering, and they appear to be joining with the rest of the army. So, let's get my skirmishers back. Guys, hurry, hurry, hurry. Just move it, move it, move it. This is going to be interesting. I'm trying to hurry them back into position. Up, oh, and now they're backing off. <laughs> it's a game of chicken. Let's see what's happening is they're being a little indecisive over what they want to do. But I have officially pissed them off. So now they are charging. They appear to be charging. see what they do for a moment. That was a nice opening salvo. Not a lot going on. All right, these guys... 
getting a little close for comfort. Alright, perfect. Those spearmen have just been ordered to attack those cavalry. And spearmen are very strong against cavalry. And they're also getting pelted from a few different directions now. Alright. This battle is about to get interesting. I'm going to put them in here. Let's go ahead and bring these guys around. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright. Life just got interesting. Their main force has charged in. This, these cavalry are losing decisively. The cavalry they charged in. That's good. But... Right. You guys line up. These are my main swordsmen here. They're getting pelted, but I need them to flank right there. You guys go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and charge all of these troops here. This is the main battle here. Appears to be pretty evenly pitched at the moment. But I can change that. Here comes my general. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It's okay. Alright, so you can see my general moving in from the back there. He's going to cause some havoc. I haven't lost too many men. This is going well. There's, there's a... It's kind of a stalemate right now, but they're the ones that are losing all of their men against this Roman line. So it's a big mishmash of people trying to fight, as you can see. I need to make sure that these guys continue to charge. Meanwhile, this is going to be good. Hit, hit those Italian spearmen right in the back. Oh, now they know they're in trouble. Of course he is. I just charged him into the back end of all them. All right, those are spearmen that I ordered him to attack, so he could potentially be in trouble in a moment. I'll have to keep an eye on his unit and see what happens. Just gave an attack order to them. Same to this unit that's just been hanging out. Go ahead and get these units. Into position in the town city. So I've got a contingent of my units that is now taking over the town that they evacuated here. So my general is holding his own. Yeah, these units, yeah, those units there are starting to lose heart. They are running. Okay, this is actually going very well. You can see here that the chance of, the balance of power is considerably more in our favor now than it was at the beginning of this match. They are now being overrun. Try and hit them from all sides. Let's see what's going on over here. Gives us all right, these Leves are actually fighting with their... So this is a hand-to-hand -hand battle between the Slingers 
and these very light <laughs> so our two very light missile inf infantry units are in a hand-to-hand -hand fight here with swords and shields quite a battle for the city of Aaron Minim here the battle is turning in our favor of course it is we kick their butts all right so this is now not much of a fight I'm gonna order all of my units in this area to follow these units huh. I have some villages that are hanging out here you guys all right, so these Hastati were ordered to chase them out so that's what they're doing. We hold the town center. The Roman flag has risen over Velothri, but there's still enough of the enemy around that the game is not quite giving it to us. Looks like we have some additional Velothri over here. So I haven't paid attention quite to all my units. It could be tough, and I'm a little bit rusty. But we're doing well enough. These guys seem to be holding their own. They won't be for much longer, though, because these guys are coming. This will be fun to watch. Let's watch this. So right now, there's 55 of them. Oh, they're running. They know they're in trouble. All right, so we have won the battle. We're going to keep going for a minute longer just to make sure things wrap up tidily here. Well, that was fun. Let's move these units out. Get them. My general's unit did well. Only nine of his horsemen passed away. And the enemy general is dead now, so... It's a very complete victory. Not only did we capture the city of Ariminium, but the largest Etruscan army in the province of Italia was just wiped out. Completely and utterly wiped out. That's satisfying. Let's see if we can see any of their units running. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them running. I'll leave this running for a moment longer. Speed up time. They have to run pretty far to get away. And their problem is this. There's Lucius Julius Lado in the center there. You see him with his white crest. He's been bloodied. These Etruscan cowards running for their lives. <laughs> yes, what I'm doing is slightly merciless at the moment, but these people need to be completely removed from the picture in order for Rome to control Italia. And that is the goal. The Roman Empire is beginning, and it is making a statement. Pretty good start. Let's go ahead and take care of those skirmishers. And as you can see over here, my army has gathered, for the most part, in the town city. Now look at this. So, there's a decent number of Roman bodies there, but the Etruscans' losses, this is where the main line was, right here, and the Etruscans' losses, including their cavalry here. Um, these are all Etruscan horses uh, that met their end. So, for horse lovers out there, I'm sorry, just remember, this is a game. <laughs> I would never do this to a real horse. Um, okay. I think that's enough to call it. Let's go ahead and end the battle. We have a decisive victory. We lost 487 men compared to their 1,773. We lost less than a third of what they did, despite the fact they actually had slightly more men. I didn't actually do the math at the beginning of the battle. Uh, but that's a decisive victory for Rome. And we'll let the campaign load the map back up here. We'll take a moment. 24 minute battle altogether. Good old two parter. I feel like I just missed a quote. <laughs> I was looking away during the loading screen.
This will be an interesting animation. Alright, let's go ahead and we want to occupy it. Yeah, that didn't go well. Ah, the army and the general leveled up. Excellent. So what we can do is we can give the army... Let's give them the formidable fighters trait that will make their melee units a bit more powerful. And then also let's give Lucius the warrior trait to give him some additional influencing power. This will help our house grow in uh, influence. We already have a good deal of influence now. So I don't want to cut it much longer than that because we're over the 15 minute mark. Thank you for watching. As you can see, much to my satisfaction and hopefully yours if you've been watching so far, Rome now controls the entire province of Italia. We control most of the boot, not all of modern day Italy. We have to make a play soon for what is now Milan, uh, Medlin or Mediolanum up there is still waiting for us. And we will get to those in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.